Before the big unavoidable news, the first presidential debate this week. Before that, eight the rest of the news in this political news cycle. On Tuesday of this week, on debate eve, something happened that could have a major impact on the upcoming election. On Tuesday, a Pennsylvania judge ruled that voters don't need a photo ID to vote in this year's election. So a change in voter rules that was potentially going to disenfranchise up to one in eight voters in that big swing state, those new rules are put on hold. But whether or not people who do not have a driver's license in Pennsylvania are disenfranchised and don't participate in this election may depend not just on whether that law technically has gone into effect or if it has been blocked, which it has. It will depend in part on whether or not people think that law has gone into effect. Whether people in Pennsylvania believe that if they don't have a driver's license or another suitable ID, they shouldn't bother showing up to vote. That ought to be a consequence of whatever the law is in Pennsylvania, but in the real world... It's a consequence of what people believe the law is in Pennsylvania. Before the ruling this week, when the law stated that you did need an ID to vote, here's what the consumer-friendly voting in Pennsylvania website, votespa.com, told voters. This is the big splash page at the go here if you have questions about the election, user-friendly, widely advertised website that the state of Pennsylvania is telling everybody to go to. This is how that website greets voters as of earlier this week, before the judge's ruling. With that small print, you see voters are required to show an acceptable photo ID before casting their ballot. After the judge's ruling, after it became legally clear that you do not actually have to have an ID to vote in Pennsylvania, it is actually okay for you to go vote if you don't have a driver's license. You're welcome at the polling place. Here's how they changed the website. You ready? Look at that difference. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is actually a little change in the small print. They have changed the fine print there. But the overall impression is pretty much the same. If you don't have a driver's license, the implicit message here is don't show up. Pennsylvania is a hotly contested swing state, but this is going on in other states. States where they were not able to change the law to keep people without ID from being able to vote, but where there is still an effort to try to block people without ID from voting anyway by just making those people think they won't be allowed to vote, so don't bother showing up. In Idaho, here's what that looks like. In Idaho, you are not required to show ID in order to vote. If you don't have an ID, you can show up and you can vote. But here is what the state is distributing as their helpful and handy informational booklet to voters. Bring your ID and vote. Ta-da! You hear about rogue, vigilante, under-the-radar shady things like this every election year, right? And it seems like there's more of them than usual going on this year. These external groups trying to convince people not to show up or to be intimidated if they do show up. But it's another thing entirely for it to be your state, right? Your state using your tax dollars to misinform you about what your voting rights are in your state. So let's say you found yourself, (laughs) I don't know, perplexed by the very subtle change on the Votes PA Pennsylvania Voter Information website. Let's say you, for some reason, found this change slightly confusing. So you decided to inform yourself. Call the state elections office directly. Get it straight once and for all. You go to the Pennsylvania state website, votespa.com, and you call the toll-free number that they list there, 1-877-VOTES-PA. This is what you get. Thank you for calling the Pennsylvania Department of State Bureau of Commissions, Elections, and Legislation. Press 1 for English. Press 1 for information on Pennsylvania's new voter ID law. Press 2 for the division. Hello. All Pennsylvania voters will be required to show a photo ID before voting at a polling place beginning with the November 2012 general election. All photo IDs must be current and contain an expiration date unless otherwise noted. Acceptable photo IDs... Today. That's today when you call the official number. That's not the law at all in Pennsylvania. You don't have to have a driver's license or any other ID in order to vote in Pennsylvania. You do not. But when you call the state's official number to figure out how to vote, that is the outgoing message telling you you need to have ID. As of today. So... Naturally, when we got that recording, one of our producers called back today and asked why. Why the confusing website? Why the totally wrong outgoing message from the state? We're trying to reach out and figure out all of our marketing campaigns, all of the ads out there, whether it's it's bus advertisements, whether it's TV ad, when just check and make sure everything is, in a sense, compliant Mm -hmm. with the judge's ruling and to make sure that nothing's out there that's sending mixed messages to the voters. 
Okay. So we encourage anyone who's confused or has a question to go on that Votes PA website or to call up that number on the Votes PA um, information just to let us know and to find out more about um, everything that's going on. Okay. But your outgoing message is actually, mm-hmm. like, sending the uh, not just a mixed message, but... This, like a factually incorrect <laughs> message yeah. to the voters right right now. Can you change that message? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, okay. it, for something like that, it's it's important that we have individuals let us know, or mm-hmm. like I said, to call us and contact us, like you're doing right now. Like you're doing right now. After we called, um, they did remove that outgoing message altogether. No rush. It's not like we're in election season or anything. People are making their decisions about voting. Don't rush, you guys.